Hello and welcome to our summary of today's session. Today's session we looked at some of the features like the home button which is here and the on off button that you have here and we also looked at some of the side buttons that you have on your iPad are right here. This button here for example when you turn that on or off you'll see like a little orange changes to a little orange button there can you see that? What that does when you turn when you're locking it so for example your iPad you know how it tilts around like that or when you have it on a landscape or um, portrait it tilts around or by turning that button you can lock it on or off so for example I'm going to lock it and now it won't tilt around and so that's something that you may want um, some people get used to the tilting but you can lock it and of course you also have your volume control there. How to put a password protect on your phone so that when you see your iPad or for those of you that have an iPhone that you can also have a password protecting your work and that's important because if someone was to take your iPad or you were to lose it there's always that worry that someone may have your information so uh, it's a sensible thing to have one. So how do you find the place to do that? Well, we hit our home menu once and we type in the word settings. You can also find things visually. And when we went into settings today, we went straight into, uh, we looked at a few things. We looked at the auto lock, which gives you an indication of how many minutes the auto lock turns on. Because if you're not doing any work, um, or you've walked away from your work, you've accidentally left your iPad running, you might not want someone to get into your computer. And by default, it comes locked at two minutes. But that's very quick and it becomes annoying. It means you have to type in your password all the time. So I recommended that you set it to 15 minutes. And when you set it to 15 minutes, a little tick will appear and you go back. Underneath the auto lock is the passcode lock. And this is the moment that you set what passcode you want to put in. It's a four digit number. Some people use numbers similar to their credit cards, their birth year or postcode of their first address. Whatever you use, you'll need to remember. So only do this when you're ready because you'll need to know that forever because without that number, nobody can get into your iPad. And you can set that up for also for similar devices like your, um, your iPhone or your smartphone. Many devices have that feature, even iPad, um, um, iMac, book, um, your computer generally, it's a good idea to have one. But I already have one so I'm going to click cancel. We also went through that in the settings is where we control quite a few things. For example, there's a section here called aeroplane mode and if you change aeroplane mode for, to on, this is the safe way to look at your iPad without interfering with the aeroplane when you're sitting in having a flight and you still want to use your iPad but you don't want to interrupt or break the rules um, with what's happening in the control of the aeroplane you turn that on. It's the same if you're in a hospital you're not meant to have any devices on but if they do allow you you can put it on aeroplane mode. Those of you that have Wi-Fi um, you will notice that the nearest Wi-Fi will show up here and for here, because we're doing workplace training, um, you'll see that we have a variety of options here. We've got the UNE network working there. And there's a, a lot of other things that we'll go through as we become more comfortable. There's things here like brightness and wallpaper. That might be useful because the iPad has an ability to be light sensitive and at night it can actually become dim. And this is where you can control the brightness of your iPad. And while we're here, it also shows you what your wallpapers look like. And that's the next thing we're going to do. So that was what we did for general settings. We looked at that button here being the home button. If you click it once, it brings up a menu that you can type in. If you click it twice, if you click it twice, it gives you a menu to see what apps you have got open and how to turn them off. Okay, so we're going to keep these nice and short and we'll proceed with our next session.